And that is going to be the subject of some discussion, I would guess. Oh, oh trouble. Right I saw Waltrip 17 go out of the picture. But it looks like 32, Rick Mass involved in it. 99 in your foreground is Tommy Ellis, the two-time series champ. We've got cars all over the racetrack. Totally track. blocked down there. Everybody needs to stay high on the racetrack. This is where you need a spotter. Serious accident down in turn number four. I don't think the licks were as hard as we had the other day. I feel people are pulling off now. because Most of the people were on the brakes when they were getting into that. They just, the drivers just had nowhere to go. We see Jack Ingram in the number 11 Skull car. The number 30 is Mike Waltrip. Number 42 is Kyle Petty. I think I see uh, Kenny Wallace's car, Cox Wood Preservative. 31 Steve Grissom. Let's take another look at it and see if we can see how it got started. Watch the left side of your screen. Two cars getting together, and then one gets sideways. Looked like that was the Dale Jarrett car. Brad Teague, I believe, the number Brad 75, Teague. the black and orange car, right at the middle of your screen, and he really... Look how that racetrack is blocked. There's nowhere to go. Driving has nothing to do with it here. You're flying. There's just nowhere to go. Everything washes down, but people now have locked it up to try to miss the wreck, and uh, you're just in jail. There goes Tommy Houston spinning down. There's the number 17, Daryl Waltrip, pulling out. Five times the winner of this event, but it looks like he will not have a shot at it today. I thought he got out of it. There you see Jack Ingram, the Iron Man, 53 years of age, older than Richard Petty. Boy, what a way to start the year. Neil Bonnet has caught up with Daryl Waltrip now. Daryl, I know when you had to change motors, it put you back in a position you really didn't want to be in. And this is what always seems to happen. I know it happened for him, nothing you could do. Yeah. Well, I was sitting there thinking, you know, I don't like where I am, but if you go back, you get in more trouble. I don't know how I could get in anymore, but... Uh, and somehow or another, I thought this might happen, Neil. I just didn't have a good feeling about the race. Well, you don't have to tell me you're not where you want to be. I knew where you want to be was up front, and the motor change going to put you behind. Yeah, well, I did. Thank you very much. We'll be better next time. Darrell Walter out of it. There is Kyle Petty. Thirteen cars involved in that wreck altogether. That is a big one. That's Tommy, Tommy Ellis. Ellis next to him. What do you say, I wonder, when you walk up to another guy after a shamazzle like that? Well, I saw Mike. What happens is two cars to get together, and uh, because of the speed, it just took out 13 race cars. Uh, nobody had anywhere to go. It shoots up the racetrack. There's a real hard lick. You can see the 42 car has a rear end almost knocked off of it. And a lot of the top runners, Kenny Wallace, Tommy Ellis, Kyle Petty, 13 cars in total. We're going to step away for just a moment. We'll be back to sort it out when we return to Daytona.